Namaste, everybody. Are you in for a show? You're in for a treat. The war is on, and it's in my mind. <laughs> this episode's fun because it's like a tennis match. Good, bad, good, bad. Love, light, choppers. You'll see. I can't say it in the <laughs> intro. We'll get flagged. Anyways, I'm coming to a city near you. Bakersfield, California. Buffalo, New York. Bloomington, Minnesota. St. Louis, Missouri. Columbus, Ohio. Liberty Township, Ohio. Portland, Spokane, Seattle, Tacoma, Orlando, Tampa, Pittsburgh, Nyack, Oxnard, Vancouver, Canada. Chicago, Nashville, Memphis, New York, Boston, Canada again. Edmonton, what's up? Washington, D.C. Now you know why I'm always tired. I just... <laughs> <laughs> it's good problems <laughs> good problems i love you all come out check a live show come check me out i'm getting better at this shit i noticed that i'd be on stage i'll be getting hecklers i'll be fuck you ho <laughs> fuck you dickhead and oh i'm not supposed to cuss at the intro <laughs> Sorry. Mm. and before i'd be like ah you know i'm scared now i'm like bitch <laughs> suck on my nuts dipped in chocolate shit how about that, heckler? Um, anyways, oh boy, I'm all over the place here too. <laughs> Can't even get through the intro, Craig. Tickets at Craig don't. <laughs> Tickets at CraigConet.com. I, I said donut. <laughs> I was. I'm, 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 I'm hungry. Give me some sugar. Give me some sugar. I love donuts. It's been a while since I had a windchills glaze. Yum yum, yum yum, num 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 num. Um, just go to my show, <laughs> tune into this show, just help me out, tigers. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said tigers. I love cats. Okay, all right. <laughs> I love you all. Tune in right now. Go to my shows. Buy a hoodie. If you're broke, I get it. Just watch for free. I don't give a shit. No cussing on the intro, Craig. I love you all. Tune in right now. Good night. I might check. I'm Mike Jack. I, okay, it's good. Just scoot. Is everything okay? Does it look funny? My no, crooked? it looks good. You're good. Is it crooked like my, you know, <laughs> I wasn't going to say that, Chris. <laughs> I meant my eye sockets. <coughs> what happened, Craig? I'm getting ready for camera, mama. 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 How's my hair look? Is it all right? Yeah. I didn't wash my ass today. Let me get it. Let me get it. I like a little hair over my ears. Keeps them warm. <laughs> I've been working out. No, I haven't. I've been going dark again. Oh, no. Watching sex on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to get flagged and cuss. This is me not trying to cuss. <laughs> oh, no, okay, all right, we'll get to it. I guess we started. I got no notes. Free flow. I hope I had enough sugar today. <laughs> get me some cookies, Chris. I love a cookie. God, <laughs> I had a lot of coffee today. Snuggle bug. I'm gonna start drinking again. Fuck the noise. The Dalai Lama's sucking on little boys' tongues. <laughs> I'm going to start drinking again. Have we nothing to believe in? The Buddhist fucking monk is a pedo? Fucking pedo. What's going on out there? I thought that one was safe. This stupid Indian fool I love and follow, uh, Shashwishwushwu. I don't know his name. He's a guru. He just spits wisdom. It's wisdom, wisdom. I love him, love him, love him. And then he'll just say some shit like, I can't wait for most of the population to die. You're like, hey, man. What's that about? <laughs> What's that about? Your track record was good, good, good. Why am I saying good like that? It's good. It's Italian coffee. It influences me. <laughs> <laughs> I just spit a little right there. I'm like a child. Look at my eggs, Chris. I got Easter eggs. 
Mama says I'm special. <laughs> oh no, the condensation made them get all wet. I should have left them. Oh, <laughs> I should have got the warranty on the couch. I'm gonna have blue dye on my couch. Mm. Mm. I'm stuck. The show must go on. <laughs> What's this fool's name? I was just me messaging with my sister. Um, oh, Instagram, big old fat ass instantly. <laughs> That's not what I'm trying to do right now, but let me just check that out real quick. What the fuck is that fool's name? Sad Guru. Well, it's in the name, Sad Guru. Anyways, he's just fool, and he just spits wisdom, and then he just said some wild shit, and you're just like, I didn't want to start out this way, but it's all over the internet. It's on every page, everything, and it's on tape. It's on tape. He can't. He apologized. He didn't even deny it. He said, "Oh, I'm sorry for asking the Nino to suck on my tongue. I'm Italian." That's what he said. He said, "I'm Italian." <laughs> really, Dalai Lama? Because you don't look Italian. Must be East Italian. <laughs> this too far I, I ain't the one asking the fucking ninos i just pinched my nutsack god damn it i got a fat pussy today boy i tell you what all right craig what kind of show is this i'm all over the map <laughs> i told you i ain't got no flow um keep your heads ringing ring ding dong ring this is how my brain works I went from Dalai Lama to Friday soundtrack with Dr. Dre. Keep your heads ringing. That's the shit. Where are all the gangsters in the world? Why don't you go fucking... Never, never mind. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't go dark, right? Let's talk about what is right with the world. Not the Dalai Lama. Mm -mm. What is right with the world? This mug. Snuggle. Snuggle. I've been drinking coffee I've been getting opportunity after opportunity And I've been blowing it <laughs> <laughs> No, I've been showing up I'm just joking We show up I've been having mad auditions I, I, I said I wanted to get into acting And I started taking acting classes That's how you gotta say it Because I'm sophisticated now I'm an actor <laughs> Rip torn, move over. I could have thought, thought of you know, <laughs> rip, rip torn. <laughs> Is he dead? I think he might have. Yeah. Passed. Well, he's out of the way then, isn't he? <laughs> isn't he? I said I'm coming for you, Rip. Rest your soul. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry, brother. Respect, respect, love, love. It's all love. I've been working real hard on my namaste. Forgive and forget. Forgive and forget. Namaste, Chris. Fuck the Dalai Lama. <laughs> go to hell, bitch. Why don't you go meditate and not be a pedo, you old freak? It's always when they tell them not to. I don't know. I don't know enough information. But you know how the Catholic Church, no sex? Mm -hmm. And then it comes out in weird, perverted ways, and then they, you know. Then they got deep pockets. So they get away with it, and they still run the world. Everyone's like Easter Sundays. They're fucking pedos, man. <laughs> They're all fucking pedos. <laughs> These pedos run the world. They lost a kid down there. They found their bones or some shit, and it was all over the news. And then later, their PR team was like, "No, it was a hoax." <laughs> was it? <sighs> Anyways, uh, the Great Awakening is happening. Everyone's awake that our leaders are fucking pedos. <laughs> 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 this is the darkest shit ever. Okay. What am I been working on? Oh, Buddhists? Are they are they like no no wives, no marriage, no no husband, whatever you are? I can look it up. Yeah. I'm not sure. What's their little thing? Cuz from outside looking in, I'm going to guess celibacy. And uh, just the human race is too horny to be celibate. 
you gotta you gotta be on some some uh not of this world. I wish I wasn't horny. Don't you wish you weren't horny? It's really annoying. It's yeah. exhausting. You're like, let me cross the street and watch this girl jog and have her ass jiggle in my She's like, why are you chasing me? I'm like, oh, sorry, you saw me? <laughs> it's a joke. I never, you know what I mean? I just mean like, we'll, we'll, you've, we've, I've said it before, but Trader Joe's will be like, let me go stock this one item over here just because the girl's in yoga pants. Mm-hmm. And you're just like, oh my God. <laughs> wow. Oh uh, yeah, Buddhist monks have to be celibate. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's going to come out. So you might as well spank the monkey, <laughs> Dalai Lama. <laughs> Because what you're doing is way worse than spanking the old whaley whacker. <laughs> Fucking sick bastards, man. You shut the hell up. My gardener's here. <laughs> I'm just at peace, man. <laughs> No, uh, yeah, right. I'm practicing being at peace, and I'm getting better at it, and uh, I'm being kinder to myself. The ayahuasca is helping only two times. I did three fingers, and I said two times. Maybe the ayahuasca is not helping. (laughs) Mama says I'm special, and she's right. Want to rub my eggs and get ink all over your hand? Come on, rub my eggs. I'm the Dalai Lama. Come rub my <laughs> eggs. Come touch my Easter's. Easter's. <laughs> we had a lovely time with the family on Easter Sunday. Even though written religion is bullshit, they added it. it, it, it. That's a tongue twister. I mean, I respect religions to a certain extent i just know they were edited too much i turned into trump there too much i don't know (laughs) and i don't trust it especially since their leaders are sick fuckers and probably should be castrated and thrown in jail that's just my thoughts though (laughs) (laughs) but go to church make sure you give the pedals your money they need it they got a they got lawyers to pay. You know, they got to pay off for their molestations. That's why they repent from their sins. Spirit of the Santo Maria, please forgive me. I asked the eight year old to suck on my tongue. <laughs> Rosa Marie. <laughs> now go say three Hail Marys and all your sins are absolved. Bullshit. Chop his nuts off. Okay, that's a bit... You know, Craig, you're going to get flagged on the YouTube. (laughs) But when I'm right, I'm right. Off with his dick. That seems like a fair solution. You cut cut diddle in the ninos. Huacatala. As my mother would say, huacatala. We need a guillotine just for peckers. (laughs) They think twice. They think twice. Hey, Dalai Lama, let me see your tongue. Put it in the, put it in the pecker chopper offer (laughs) what would we call that a poutine (laughs) that's a play on words there because guillotine poutine (laughs) i'm just trying my best this is silly sometimes my brains are scrambled have you had scrambled eggs because i have it in my head right now how about a humana humana okay i had too much sugar today boy yeah, despite the world burning, my life has been pretty fucking good. I've been a little stressed out. Oh, I had a call back on a big one. Oh, yeah, and I yelled at you because I was breaking, man. I was going down. <laughs> I've been doing real good, but you know, we're human. I fucking fumbled. I was, I called you a bitch. I said, listen here, bitch. No, I didn't. <laughs> I, I said, cocksucker. Maybe I was just cursing at you. This nice, sweet man that's done <laughs> nothing but good things for me. Listen here, cocksucker. <laughs> I'll fuck you up, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I was driving going nuts because it was just too many. Dude, I'm over here complaining. Thank you, God, for my blessings. 
universe, Edmundo, whatever the fuck. You know what? I rewatched that Dr. Wayne Dyer. He didn't say Edmund. He said Edwind. Edwin. I changed it to Edmundo. <laughs> I told you I'm Mexican. What's so full? Um, so uh, one of these days, it's just too much. But it's I put pressure on myself. There's no pressure. There's no pressure. Non-attachment. Love from non-attachment. Yeah, good, good luck. Try not getting attached to those tits over there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that's the goal. Love from non-attachment. And it's just like, oh, that's fucking hard. Anyways, um, I'm all over the map, but there's little tidbits of wisdom. I'm, I'm like a, like a fuck. I'm like TikTok. You're like next, next, next. Anyways. On this particular day, when I broke and I yelled at you because you put the dates crooked, I'll beat you, boy. <laughs> I'll beat you, pussy boy. Um, it's, it's not like my father. I'm just kidding. He's a sweet man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he did the best he could with what he had. What did his daddy do to him, that poor bastard? Whatever was done to me was done to him about 50 million times worse. Goo. Anyhow, and the vicious cycle continues. On this particular day when I broke, I had acting classes and had like three pages to study, which stresses me the fuck out because it's not my lane and, and I don't read so good. I read, but it's, it's the words get all jumbled and I'm like, oh, my sister dropped me on my head when <laughs> I was an infant. True story. And then I dropped myself on my head about 90 times. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. There's some dents. <laughs> Oh, have you felt it? Can't be good. Oh, why is there a golf ball on the back of my skull? <laughs> Can't shave my head anymore. <laughs> Got a goiter. It ain't no cyst. It's just like a skull fracture. Anyhow, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fucking winning. I broke a hundred k and got no money to show for it. Woo! I got some guns though. On this shirt. Anyways. I have ADHD. A fan gave me this. I'll get to that. They gave me a nice, sweet gun shirt. I buttoned it up because read the room, not the climate right now. Not the climate. <laughs> um, on this particular day, I had acting class and like three pages of script and some lines to study. And we're putting it on tape and watching it in front of everybody. <gasps> Nightmare. And then I had a callback for a big audition that I cared about and like something. Like if I don't care about... Like, if it's something dumb, I don't care. But if it's, like, a cool project, I start caring, you know? And I attach. I'm like, ooh, let me get it. Let me have it. Ooh. And then back to that little viral video you clipped up, you got to let go. It's hard when you just want it. I want the movie. So I had a callback. I had acting class. I had um, to put it on tape at my buddy's studio after acting classes and these auditions come in like the night before do the next day they don't give you ample time it's like you got 12 to 20 36 hours it's fucking crazy like sorry for the rush you say that every time <laughs> there's got to be some sort of solution anyhow so acting class audition after acting class sit in two hours of traffic to go headline ontario improv and sell tickets and sell merch and a lot of people asking to get on my shows and they're all my friends and it's just like it's it's just a lot you know and uh, and then i just broke and uh you sent me a flyer and the dates were crooked and then i fucked up but you didn't catch it <laughs> that's why because so i was like i'm not in ontario twice and then i was like why did you change that craig and it's just too just too many moving parts you know what i'm saying that's why I need to hire help. That's why I make more money and then I hire help and then I don't make more money because I just fucking pay you, but you, of course, deserve it and you're worth it. And I honestly wish I could pay you even more if I'm being real honest. I said honest twice, but, you know, I really meant it. I was like, fuck, I wish I could just pay you so much money so you could quit fucking Trader Joe's and stop being a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but I need health care. When's the last time you used it? When's the last time you used it? Huh? Did you stub your toe? I went to the eye doctor the other day. Once in five years. <laughs> Once a year. Once a year. 
The eye doctor is not even the, that's the that's the one you can afford. <laughs> that shit's like three hundred bucks. Yeah, it's the break your leg one. <laughs> that's the one that gets you. But you know, just have bad credit. <laughs> you don't gotta pay. What are they gonna do? They're gonna take your home you don't own. <laughs> you guys, what are they going to do? Fuck them. Fuck you. How about that, YouTube? Fuck you, <laughs> YouTube, and fuck, uh, what's that, Fannie Mae? Fuck Equinox? No, Equifax? <laughs> what's the other one? There's three. Fuck the bu Credit Bureau? Fuck the Feds? Boy, I, this is, <laughs> I'll say it with love, though. <laughs> <laughs> the De Experian, Equinox, and Fairfax. What's the fucking thing? <laughs> Google's, <laughs> man. You're making me look real dumb. I'm gonna yell at you again. You want this money, boy? <laughs> Just abusive to my sweetheart of a spinal cord, Christopher Lunn. Experian, TransUnion, and... Equinox. Equifax. Equifax. I fucking knew it, bro. I was a loan officer. I sold mortgages. <laughs> look, I have moccasins. That's how you know I'm white. <laughs> These are boat shoes. Um, Equifax. Yeah, fuck them all. TransUnion. Oh, that's going to get me in hot water. I meant the Bureau. <laughs> they just, you get good credit. It just takes 10 years. Mm -hmm. I can wait. What's, what are you? Just go garden. Come back. Come back later. <laughs> Your credit's good. I'm living proof. I'm living proof, baby. I still cannot believe that I racked up 30 grand on American Express when I was 18, 19, 20, never paid them, and now I have pristine credit and have an American Express Platinum card, and I never paid them a fucking penny. Shout out to Amex. Thank you for your lounges. <laughs> Thank you for your lounges. I appreciate you. I've been getting diarrhea left and right. Every airport that has a lounge, I get diarrhea at. This little ghetto boy just got into Richville. Yeah, that's a place. And I start sampling everything. Ooh, let me get one of each. That's why it's hard for me to settle down. Let me try one of each woman. <laughs> That's too much, Craig. That's not popular. Or is it? I don't know. I'm actually trying to settle down. It's way better to be, be with one woman, divine connection. How about two, God? Can we do that? <laughs> I'm moving to Utah. I'm sick of this one. She's giving me shit. And vice versa. I'm sure she's sick of my shit, too. Everybody's sick of Everybody has shit. It's just whose shit are you compatible with? That's what I've learned. That's all it is. Are they compatible with my shit? Am I compatible with their shit? Their shit stinks? I got to go. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Mine don't smell. Maybe after those lounges it smells. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. It's not my fault they have deviled eggs and ham. Why they gotta be deviled, huh? Because <laughs> the way they smell on the way out, that's why. You're not meant to have that much mayonnaise and hard boiled <laughs> eggs. Your tummy goes boop, 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 boop. Is there a point to all this? No. No. <laughs> this is just the brain of an ADHD. I can't. <laughs> Can you believe I'm not high? Maybe I should go get high. Maybe I'll fucking start talking right. This is bullshit. I'm damned if I do, I'm damned if I don't. If I'm not high, everyone thinks I'm high, so I might as well be fucking high and enjoy life. <laughs> Rub a little coconut oil on my nipples and call it a day. <laughs> They're chapped right now. I wore my Sunday school clothes. <laughs> oh, man. Now I've been doing, doing much, much better. What am I, what is happening? I've been doing, doing? Ta -ta Today, Junior. He also said much, much. You shut up, Chris. <laughs> 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 no, the funny thing is I was trying to say I've been doing much, much better. But it, my brain says I've been doing, doing much, much. <laughs> because like I said, I got scrambled eggs up here. I did a lot of drugs and I got dropped on my head a lot of times. But I'm still swinging this bat, baby. Who's still got a show? <laughs> I do. 
I think I share my story so much. I was analyzing because sometimes you get sick of your own story and you're like, you're more than your story, Craig. You're an infinite being of light stuck in a meat suit. <laughs> You've been eating mushrooms and listening to Bill Hicks. You know what's up. But I like to share my story because of the repeating drum of if I can do it, you can do it. I know I've said that message 50 million times, but the whole reason I'm fucking sober is because a tweaker got sober. And I was like, if he could do it, I could do it. And I like that shit because when you're down in the darks of depths of hell and and I was there for so fucking long, you never think you can get out. You don't even know out is an option. You don't even know there's light at the end of the tunnel. You're just in darkness. And I like to share it even though it may get annoying at times is because I'm proof. I'm still got mountains and mountains to climb here, folks. I'm fucking very far off from enlightenment, let's just say. <laughs> um, but I'm saying if you just start walking towards the right direction, you'll be surprised at what amazing things can happen if you just keep fucking going. And I'm still going and I'm still on my way and I hold my breath all the time. I don't, there's no fucking cement foundation under this. <laughs> <laughs> this shit could drop any time, bro. I'm scared, <laughs> but you just gotta keep fucking going. And that's my whole message. I started out with nothing and now I got a little something, you know, and I can't wait till I have a little bit more something. <laughs> uh, but, it is true, like all these fucking viral TikToks I watch, it and they, they all are truth. Not all, not all. I, I mean, the, uh, the ones I'm referencing in my head right now, it's like motherfuckers get their, they work their rate up to a certain, because it's just like low self-esteem, I'm not worth it, I'm not worthy. I'm, and then you get success, a, a limited amount of success, and then you start asking for a rate. And then you don't charge, the rate, you charge the rate because of the the hell and the journey you went through. Like these motherfuckers don't know it took you 10 years to even charge a rate that can actually make you a, a living, you know? You're like, oh, that much? It took me 10 years of losing money. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's for any art form. It doesn't have to be stand-up. It could be photography. Uh, Whatever, a brick and mortar shop. I like using that. I learned it recently. <laughs> that means a, uh, whether you do esthetician like my sister or uh, uh, Ayurvedic healing like my sister or, or anything, art, paint, crochet, whatever the fuck. Um, just know your worth and ask for it. And like these little TikToks I keep referencing, like one of them was like, are you tired and over extending start charging double and then somebody was like oh you'll lose half the client i know i want to and i'll still make the same amount and you go oh <laughs> it's true it's just, it's, you just go overextended in whatever your business may be or art or passion um you know there's so many things and and it's just you charge that rate baby and you charge it because of the hell you went through to get there and the journey, and and as I talk, when I was coming up and stand up, and I still am coming up, all my elders and OGs I looked up to, and like like I remember Ian Edwards saying like, enjoy it, enjoy it, because as soon as you switch, it changes, man, and it, and it just becomes about business. And I at that time I was like, yeah, right. And then it changed. And I'm like, oh, you were right, <laughs> you were right, sir. Cause then you're like, oh, ticket sales, pressure, fans, more material, but the, the list goes on and on and on and never stops. But that's also the fun of it and you have to enjoy the process of it. Otherwise you go fucking nuts. I don't even remember who says what anymore cause I just fucking, I'm on the, I'm on the China virus. I'm on the TikTok, just scrolling. And uh, these are jokes folks. Somebody's gonna go, oh, he got it at a Disney show. I'm gonna cancel him now. You said China virus. <laughs> Fucking comic, not being serious, cock bitch. Um, once you go after the pedals running the world. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it's kind of nuts, right? Let's cancel a comedian for something he didn't mean saying. But meanwhile, let's let these policymakers, politicians, theologians. Ooh, that's a good word, Craig. You said it right, too. Let's let these <laughs> Buddhist fucking monks get away with murder, Catholic priests transferring. Guys guilty of crimes against humanity. Let's switch him to another section. What? Chop his dick off. Okay, too far. Too far, Craig. <laughs> I still got my daddy in me. You know, he's, he's a wild boy. Um, Oh, no, I lost my train of thought. What was I going there, Tiger? Oh, just hold the right people accountable. Stop holding people accountable. Who? Oh, are... no, before that. Before I went dark. That's true, though. Just, just, oh, just sharing my story of triumph, really. It's one of my favorite songs by Wu-Tang. Just overcoming the bullshit, overcoming your demons, your baggage, your weight holding you back. Breathe, stop holding your breath, Craig. You know, just let it go. Just take it easy, baby. I'm like the ghetto bootleg version of Tony Robbins. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> That's fine. I don't, I fucking love it. I love it. I don't give a shit. I get messages all the time that you help me get through this, and it makes me go. A lot of them make me cry just because I don't even know I'm doing it, but just by sharing my story of rags to Carhartt flannels, <laughs> uh, it helps people because I was there. You know how many times I, I was. Broke, drug addict, living at home with my mama with scabs on my nutsack, drinking liquid morphine, uh, Oxycontin, Vicodin, Percocet, cocaine, Molly, ass, whatever. What you got, boy? I'll do it. Num, 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 num. <laughs> People are like, what was your drug? Whatever was on the fucking table. Make me feel good. I watched Halle Berry get fucked by Billy Bob Thornton, and that's what I said to the drugs. I said, make me feel good. Why well, do you think I love them? It's escape. I don't gotta deal with the fucking war in my mind, but then you grow up, you lose a tooth, you get ringworm on your dick a couple times, you're like, okay, God, okay, I better clean this shit up. I better clean it up. Cause ain't nobody wanna suck a ringworm dick. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's true. So clean it up. Clean it up, y'all. You little tweakers, put your pookie down. You little cokeheads. That's a hell of a drug. It's hard. That's a hard one to quit. I was on that shit for a while. Anyways, uh, put your powders down. Put it down. Jeshwaya's coming. No, he's not. It's a lie. He's in here. <laughs> I think. I don't know. Why Easter change every year? I watch a TikTok on that. One year was March... 30th, one year is April 23rd. <laughs> so Christ just rise on different days, huh? Sounds like some bullshit to me, motherfuckers. Bullshit. Supposedly we all got the Christ consciousness in us, and it's and he was saying, and his name wasn't even Jesus. It means Hail Zeus. I follow some weird hippie accounts. Follow Billy Carson. Dolores Cannon, this is where I pull my information from. I don't fact check it. I just believe in these motherfuckers. Um, and uh, yeah, we all have the ability to tap into uh, some sort of infinite energy in us that can unlock all sorts of shit. And that's why motherfuckers don't want us to wake up because then we will stop working at Trader Joe's and stocking their bullshit. No, I'm just, it's a good job. I was there 11 <laughs> years. But, you know, you just, once you become uh, spiritually enlightened and you don't, you probably don't need that, you don't need much anymore. But you need food. In grocery store. What if we just grew organic food and it was some sort of co-ops, non-profits, <laughs> you know? It sounds crazy, but when you really think about it on some strong acid, you're like, it's possible. Why can't there be nonprofit for uh, life essential items like food, water, housing, you know, the basics? 
you want to charge me for my Lee's Vietnamese coffee? That's not a basic. You know, you, you could tax me on that. <laughs> I love this shit. Can you tell? Revenga. <laughs> Greg's on Coke again. He put it in his coffee. Not yet. I got to hit 10 years. I was like, I got to hit 10 years, and then I'll entertain relapsing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I need new material, Chris. How am I going to get it on my path to enlightenment? <laughs> Nobody wants to hear that shit. They want to hear me lose another tooth. Craig's front row fell out this time. <laughs> Ooh, he lost his marbles. Yeah, but he's on SNL now. He's funny. <laughs> Man, I got a new bit. That new bit about my buddy sucking six dicks in the bushes has been killing. I figured it out. I was scaring motherfuckers in the beginning. I was scaring them. I was scared too. It's a hard story to tell. Once you get it down, you got to gently, you know. <laughs> it's not an easy thing. He sucks six dicks. Have I told it on the pod? Uh, you told, I mean, we talked about some of it, but not. Oh, yeah. I got it pretty well worked out for stage now. It's different. Uh, yeah. My homie sucks six dicks in the bushes and shit his pants from too much dick. <laughs> That's the craziest shit I ever heard in my life. He told me not to tell anyone. <laughs> And I was like, dog, I'm a comedian, bro. This is the craziest story I've ever heard in my life. Look at you, you're getting squeamish. Mm -hmm. It didn't happen to you. <laughs> you didn't suck the six dicks. Relax, bro. Relax. Go eat a piece of toast, pussy boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I don't make no sense, but I make sense. You know what I mean? It's like I realize that as I spit shit out. I'm like, what are you saying, Craig? Don't get at me. I was molested. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. You got to make fun of the dark shit. I end up tell at, at one of the shows in Detroit, I told Dave Gregory's bit about... Mm -hmm. <laughs> they didn't like it. <laughs> I credited him. I was like, this is my buddy's joke. And, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not a thief. And... uh yeah, they, they 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 were like too far, too far, young man. I was like, it's a good joke, <laughs> but that's the whole point. That's why I like talking about dark shit because you laugh at it and you heal. Because I don't really know any other fucking way. Eh, you know, you just if it's so fucked up, you just gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like I can't handle it, and uh, so that's my way. And many many others' way of dealing with horrific shit is to laugh at it because at that point you're just like i i got nothing else i got no other defense mechanisms here you're just like ah i i think i told this story but not in years but when my grandmother passed and my mexican side and we were all with her in the corner the the body bag comes and they take her out and everyone's just quiet i forgot it was me or my uncle johnny but somebody said it and they're like, well, and everyone's sad. And they're like, well, you act like somebody just died in here. And then we just fell out laughing. We all laughed and we ate uh, chili verde and got diarrhea <laughs> and shit our pants for Grandma Kiki. And it'll be his Morial Lugo Soto. Rest her sweet soul. That sweet, loving lady. Talk about not all. What is with those old ladies that just is just pure, unconditional love? No weight, no. You know what I mean? Yeah. She ain't never did nothing wrong in her fucking life. That's crazy. Wild. Just imagine that never having to look over your shoulders, you, you, you know, because you fucked that dude's girlfriend. And you're like, my bad, bro. <laughs> my bad. I didn't know. And uh, just no, you know, no enemies. You're just a sweet soul. You just give, give love. Poor lady. Her... Everyone just take, 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 though. Nobody's refilling her. The beans were. The beans were refilling her. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. Oh, man. Shout out to all the sweet little old ladies just being saints and just giving and giving to the young schmucks of the world. Me being one of them. And, yeah. Some of my aunts, uncles, you know, we just take, just everyone. Just takes, takes, takes. Not everyone. Those sweet little, what is with women? How y'all do that? You suckers. You're better than us, but you can't do pull.
push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fucking around. Um, yeah, because men can't do that. Some of them can. Like Mr. Rogers is the only one I could fucking think of. And that's it. The rest are assholes. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Damn. That's my second big gulp of coffee, but here's the kicker. This is what makes me extra weird. I uh, make a regular French press with too much coffee grounds because I like it strong. And then the creamer, I use Lee's Vietnamese concentrate because <laughs> it's with condensed milk and it's super sweet. So I creamer my coffee with coffee concentrate <laughs> so i'm just it reminds me of coke cocaine you know well, who, who, what else am i talking about <laughs> i thought you you know you're a square pepsi oh, you just got coke, put a little coca-cola no pussy boy <laughs> the devil's dandruff that makes you want to fuck but your dick not work not me though i don't know what happened my mexican side said i love it <laughs> Yeah, that I remember being all doped up and my dick almost wouldn't work, but then you just grab the base and you will it into existence. <laughs> you squeeze that blood too far. Okay, too far. Too perverted. Okay, go to the light, Craig. Get out. Get out of there. Why is everyone so horny though? Do you notice that? The whole world's have you seen Instagram? It's all sex. Mm -hmm. It's all pussy pop. Paka paka paka. I always find it so funny when a girl's Instagram is just her ass and tits, 98% of the photos, and they'll throw one of their kid in there. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, separate accounts. <laughs> wow, that shit's funny to me. Not that there's anything wrong with that. You mama, you want to show your asshole on the gram, go right ahead. I'll be hearting them photos. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's Randy. Or are they not? Are they not? Am I making that up? I feel like there's a whole discussion about how like the youngest generation is pretty prude and reserved these days. That's good. We need we need a reset. We need a reset. It's getting a little wild out there. <laughs> a lot of OnlyFans girls, my favorite. <laughs> I have this chaos in me, and so I always attract these chaotic women. And I, 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 I'm guilty. I'm, you know, that's why, why they come, and I love them. But boy, they're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and so am I. That's like attracts like. That's why I try to tell some of my homies. I won't name them, but they always have this, you know, just repeated patterns. I'm like, it's you, dog. No, but they did it. I'm like, yeah, but you attracted it. You, it's the patterns, it's the cycle. I I get it, I'm still, I'm working on that shit. I got rid of some of my old patterns, but you know, that shit's not easy. I'm like, why are these crazy girls like me? Oh, cause you're fucking nuts. You fucking cuckoos, bro. <laughs> what you think? Think you're gonna get a Mother Teresa? That that, that brought it into you. She'd be like, "This guy's crazy. He got four cats and ringworm. I don't trust him. I don't trust this guy. Why? I got a sweetheart. I got a sweetheart. <laughs> That's true. It's all about the heart. You only get what you give. I listen to that song on fucking repeat because it's a constant reminder. Because I always feel like I need to be the justice of the world. You know, you see shit like Dalai Lama. I'll fucking chop your dick off. And then you're like, it's not my job. Well, whose job is it? Somebody go do it. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Just let it go. Let it all go. Maybe not all. We need justice. That's what I mean. That's what the... You know, that's what the... <laughs> let's fucking... Where are the cowboys at? Where are you crazy Texas... Texan motherfuckers, you cowboys, why don't you get out there and go start chopping some peckers off? Start at the Vatican and the Buddhist monk. Tibet's gone. China. <laughs> they chopped it off. I don't get it. 
I just know we're ran by psychopaths and criminals. John Lennon said that too, so uh, if you don't believe me, you and to him, so maybe you believe him. But he said we're ran by maniacs for maniacal reasons, and I don't trust them. And if we knew what they were doing, do 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 if we knew what they were doing, whether it be Russia, Ukraine, U.S., China, Belgium, if we knew what they were doing on paper, there'd be a revolution by morning. I believe John Lennon said that in an interview that I've seen. And it's true. Anyways, how about my eggs? Let's go to happy <laughs> thoughts. Let's keep it happy, Craig. Nobody wants to hear that shit. The world is burning, but you can toast a malo on it and have a s'more. It's all about perspective. <laughs> My family's in the fire. Enjoy the fucking schmore. Enjoy the schmore. Be grateful you got the schmore. No one gives a shit about your family. Dusty devado. What is that? Das vedado? Ashes, ashes, dust to dust. Leaving the body bags but never in cuffs. Exhibit. That's a, that's a wrap. I can't take that. Okay, Craig. Jesus Christ, I really am a Gemini. Peace be with you. Kill them all. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, okay, what have we been learning? What have we been learning, Craig? We've been catching those negative thoughts like weeds, though. Been listening to Louise Hay. Louise motherfucking Hay. Rest her soul. That lady, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, just trying to catch negative thoughts like weeds and pull them out of the garden immediately because your thoughts, you think what you are. And I'm trying to get some land on the hill. I don't know how to think like that yet, you know. Child of abuse, low self-esteem, a lot of sugar. You got to rewrite your DNA or rewrite your brain. I don't, you know, you got to redo everything. And beat your subconscious. So I've been listening to my little positive affirmations. And yeah, I feel like a pussy. <laughs> Something feels real wrong. You know, I'll listen to my affirmations with my gun on my chest. <laughs> and be like, yeah, that's right. You are a sweet soul. But come at me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, just, just, uh. yeah, I know. I talk about guns a lot. It's, a, it's, I, I want to be very clear on that. I obviously want zero gun violence and I want nobody to die. It's all peace and love. And I wish there was a button that can make all the guns in the world disappear. But if you have gun control, they just go into the hands of criminals and the government. Mexico has zero tolerance guns. How's that going down there? Who has them? The government and the cartel. And uh, I, I uh, obviously, I want zero mass shootings, and that's the most disgusting thing I've ever heard in my life. But how about we address uh, mental illness? And uh, most of these motherfuckers are on head meds. And how about we get to the root cause of this? We're taking away the instrument of death. We're not addressing the human being that has been pushed to uh, such extreme lengths that he thinks that's a good idea. Like, what happened to that person? Why aren't we addressing that? Why aren't we addressing uh, the lack of love in our world? Because what if there was more love? What if we treated him with health care? What if you have organic food? What if you had a nice home? What if you had a garden? What if you had four fucking cats? Four dogs? What if you, had, what, you know what I mean? What if you had a companion? What if you had love? It's, I'm mainly saying he because uh, <laughs> it would have been two female school shooters and one had a dick. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's dark. That's funny, though. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's just there was a magic button that went poof. But, you know, generally speaking, throughout history, you take the weapons away from the population, genocide occurs. You could, you could is my button straight? Yeah. Yeah. You could do a minor amount of research to find that to be true. And it's just, uh, I want no deaths, nobody hurt, and I want lots of love and lots of humanity and compassion and empathy and healing and true healing. What if we uh, gathered up all the school shooters, the potential threats on school shootings, and gave them ayahuasca? How about that? 
Ooh, you haven't got laid your whole life and you're on 4chan? Get over here, young man. Here's some pussy and some ayahuasca. <laughs> they're not going to do what they're going to do. Yeah, I got flies. Chris is going like this. <laughs> Think this is a game? There's shit everywhere. I have four cats. <laughs> There was a chunk of shit on my wood floor over there. Laminate. I don't want to brag, ladies, but my wood is plastic. <laughs> you know? And uh, I, uh, I, uh, I am a fan of weapons, but I do believe there needs to be some sort of mental aptitude test, mental health check, whatever the fuck you call it. And... Uh, I still don't believe even if you make them illegal, you're not addressing the core of the issue. You're not getting to the root, which is an insanely sick individual. Um, I just wanted to say all that because I know I talk about pistols and guns a lot and I'm wearing a gun shirt and I don't want people to like think I'm insensitive to the atrocities that are happening out there. But that's all I'll speak on that and we'll get back to farts. <laughs> I don't know. What are your thoughts? Is it is what I see say seem reasonable or or, or yeah. somewhat rational? Yeah, I just think they should definitely get rid of assault rifles. Fuck you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Everything you said plus get rid of just the assault rifle. But how are you going to defend yourself against the Illuminati without full magazine capacity? <laughs> huh? Huh? I'm kidding. You're right because when defending the Illuminati, what is the strongest weapon? Love, enlightenment, and being like, no. <laughs> we're not playing your games no more. And Illuminati, whatever, globalist, elite, multinational corporations, mafia, big government, big whatever. You know, there's something nefarious out there tinkering about. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. It's just going trendy TikTok, trending illuminati um which is crazy because the more crazy rabbit holes i go down the illuminati was something that was real and i don't know i just follow billy carson and i believe every word he says so just follow that fool but he said in the beginning it was something good uh, like anything it was a group uh taught about the laws of the universe and it was meant to teach the masses and I believe it was that way for thousands of years and then evil men got a hold of it but like what if we just kept this and they kept their little the little wisdoms like I didn't know about the law of attraction tell the secret and then even then I thought it was bullshit and then you're like wait quantum physicists believe this shit it is an actual law and then you find out about all these all these other laws cause and effect. You're like, what's I been stealing matches from the restaurant for? That's going to come back to me. <laughs> and it sounds silly and like some hippie shit, but these are actual fucking sciencey laws that I can't reiterate to you because I dropped myself on my head, motherfuckers. <laughs> but if you do a minor amount of research, you'll see that there's truth in all this shit. It's just like anything. It all It always starts out like true and pure and then some bastard manipulates it for personal gain and then thousands of years later they killed Tupac <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah 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 um I guess I agree with you even though I want an assault rifle with full magazine capacity I'm a I'm a man of reasonability is that a word good because i was second guessing myself right there i'm a man of reason where you're like all right all right you got me there yeah it's just a consumer product people like it because you can customize it you can make it you know guns are cool people want this cool. kills more people than guns look up texting and driving <laughs> that's true <laughs> <laughs> look up look but that's up illegal look up suicide because i didn't get enough likes <laughs> we ain't banning the iphone we ain't banning iodized salt heart failure you ain't banning mcdonald's how about we ban everything bad for you sure no i want sugar 
<laughs> I think everything just needs to have a label. This is going to kill you. Put that on Skittles. I'll still have a bag once a year. Titanium dioxide, here I come. I want to lower my IQ. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Just smile, baby. Just enjoy it. I've been doing much better at that. Because, you know, you look outside and... I mean, you look outside, literally, everything's fine. Unless you live in downtown LA. Don't look <laughs> outside. Look up. I don't, now there's Kim Trails. Look down. Oh, there's human <laughs> fecal matter. Ah, oh, Move out. Move out. Nobody live in downtown LA. What is that place? I think that's hell on earth now. Did you know the <laughs> devil's back and he's in downtown LA? Have you seen that place? Ugh. People are like, be careful. Be safe. I'm like, I'm from LA. Do you know about Los Angeles? Have you been down there? You could get staph infection walking on the street and get your leg amputated. Anyhow, <laughs> you're supposed to go positive, Craig. <laughs> um, yeah. It's hard to stay positive with social media and the news, but, um, you know, what can we do? We can share good stories. We don't have to share all the bad shit. It's hard not to watch that shit because it's like not watching a train crash. It's near impossible not to look. It's human nature. But what good is spreading that shit? It's just constant fear. It's lowering our vibration. Which I do believe is raising... People are awakening. Because many, many years ago, if I were to say, hey, there's poison in the food and they're spraying us and this and that, most people would be like, you're nuts. Now, most people are like, you're right, man. It's too many, too many facts, too much evidence. Like, why they got to put poison in all of the food? When are we going to wake up as a human race and demand better and be like, hey, man, how about love, equality, housing, equal rights, fucking clean water? There's not even clean water in America. We're one of the richest nation in the world. Ugh. We can't even drink the fucking tap water. There's caca in it. There's caca and pills. Isn't that crazy? I'm not full of shit. There's, me there's medicine. There's, there's medication in the water. They say because they recycle the toilet water and there's so much pills and people's piss that it just gets right back in. And people also flush medicine. The federales are coming. Flush the dope. Flush the dope. <laughs> fucking wild bro it's okay I got my Brita <laughs> fucking Brita anyhow <laughs> keep it positive <laughs> this podcast brought to you by Brita <laughs> it barely works change your filter <laughs> it's in plastic keep enjoying these microplastic while we'd get rid of 2% of your fluoride Okay, okay, get out of there, Craig. <laughs> Love and light gardening. Come on, Chris, help me out. I'm going dark here. Hmm. They're trying to kill us. Get your guns. <laughs> 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 no, garden, grow food, be nice to your neighbor, talk to people, pet your cat. Protect people, call out evil if you see it. Love and light, baby. Chop off the Dalai Lama's pecker <laughs> and the Pope. We'll keep it even in these streets. You think I'm only going after Buddhists? Catholicism, you're coming. You're coming. Your time's coming. I didn't finish the sentence. You're next. Wakatatala. We're chopping off peckers. That'd be a good Hollywood movie. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that would be good. What's that one movie about... Uh, the French Revolution, a tale of two cities. A tale of two peckers. Off with the monks and the popes. Peckers. <laughs> Sounds severe, but it's kind of hard to molest with no cock and balls. I'm, I'm, I'm saying. I'm saying. 
That should be a prerequisite. You want to give your life <laughs> to God? Then come here and put your nuts in this vice. Because then you'll be pure. And you could sing higher pitch in the choir. <laughs> I already referenced that. The church chopped off little boys' nutsacks so they could sing higher. But keep giving them your money. <laughs> Google it. That's a fact, Jack. <laughs> the church ha had the holy wars. That's What was that? 600 years of warfare of uh, unfathomable things. And they're murdering everyone. Muslims, Jews, all that. Just a holy war. And if you, the more Muslims you killed, you got to go to heaven. 600 years of that. 600, maybe more. Help me out. Google's the holy wars back in the day. I'm just saying maybe God wouldn't want that. I'm just throwing that out there. Maybe this benevolent being of light and love wouldn't want 600 years of murder. But keep giving them your money. Tax free. How long were the holy wars? Uh, during the 16th, 17th, and early 18th centuries. Okay, I'm sorry. Only 300 years. I over-exaggerated. Only 300 years of warfare. The aim was to capture the sacred places in the Holy Land from the Muslims who lived there. So it was intended as a war to right wrongs done against Christianity. Mm. So the Crusades and all that stuff, it looks like. That's right. My apologies. I don't get it all right. It was 300 years of war and decapitation and mutilation sanctioned by God. <laughs> okay. Okay. How about you go build a garden? So they got your little land. Move over there. There's a lot of land over there. No murder. No murder. No blood on the soil. Ah, you could have it. I'm going over here. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. Uh, how was Detroit? Oh, shit. Thank you. Yeah, where were you at? Where were you at a half hour ago? I'm just going off, chopping off peckers for 30 fucking minutes, bro. Try not to go dark. You're my rock, asshole. I'm going to yell at you again. This guy just let me go to Cuckoosville. We're, we're not getting monetized on YouTube this episode. <laughs> Probably. I said chop the Pope's pecker off about 19 times. And Dalai Lama. <laughs> um, Detroit was absolutely amazing. That's right. Why I'm wearing this shirt. Dude, this sweet family. Man, talk about go with your gut and your instinct too. I met these people, uh, Rick and uh, Shelly, at a show. Jesus, maybe two years ago. And... Uh, they gave me your nu their number and they said, hey, text me or email me. I'm not on social media. They're older people, you know, they're, they're not old. I'm just saying they're not on the fucking TikToks, yeah. all right? And uh, and they have kids and they're retired and run businesses and shit. And, uh, and I was like, I'm gonna keep this number. You know, these people are cool. There was no weird shit and uh, and then they're like, text us when you're near these areas. We'll drive that one to three hours to go see you. Because, you know, a lot of people ask me, when you come in here, when you come in here, when the clubs let me in, baby. When the clubs let me in. Once again, I went to Winnipeg, Canada in winter. I'll go anywhere. <laughs> I'll go anywhere. I actually love Winnipeg. It was fantastic. It was just negative 30 degrees. That's my point. I'm down. I am. I'm going to Batavia, Illinois. I'm not trying to throw shade on Batavia. I'm just saying that's the weirdest name of a town I've ever heard, <laughs> Batavia. And people are like, when you come to Denver, whenever the fuck your clubs will let me in. Okay? So stop pressuring me because I want to. Um, but anyhow, these people gave me their phone number, and then I text them, and I'm like, hey, I'm going to Detroit. And he had been saying, I'm going to fill up a school bus of my family and take them to your show. And, you know, people say things all the time. And I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This motherfucker filled up a school bus. He has a school bus. <laughs> and he filled it up with 37, 38 people. Oh. And they all mobbed in my show. Damn. And they all supported me. They all bought tickets. They all bought merch. I was almost sold out of merch after the first show because of the school bus. And I was just <laughs> like, oh. I was like, oh. 
I mean, what a sweet, sweet family. They made me this T-shirt that I'm wearing because they. I always talk about guns. <laughs> and they're from the 313. And I didn't rock it the whole podcast because of all the, you know, mass shootings. And I, I don't want to, you know. But, you know, I'll wear it on these streets. <laughs> I don't want to get flagged by f- all the fascist social medias. And, uh, but they showed up. And they're they were so dope. The, what a awesome family! And they brought, and he came the first night, and that show was magical. And then they came the late show Saturday night. That one not so magical. <laughs> um, it was just lighter, you know. It was the late show. Um, early show was fire though, and uh, and they came twice because their, I forgot their daughter or son. Their daughter couldn't come. This, First night, she had to work. She couldn't get it off. So they, they came twice. First night with a school bus. <laughs> and then the second night, I was like, hey, man, it's going to be pretty much the same hour. I'll put a couple new bits in there for you. But, like, I can't write a new hour in a day, sir. <laughs> and they just just, just just, love and support. See, that's what it's about. You Just, like, these people, like, so nice. And we can do that with all sorts of different stuff just by supporting they just well he what's cool about him is he's just a rich motherfucker he didn't tell me that but because he just kept like supporting i'm like dude like no you've done enough he's like i run a lot of businesses but he said i remind him of him he was a crazy knucklehead and he looked like he used to party he's got a little long hair He's just retired from that life, and he's a family man. He's about business, and he wants to see me thrive, so he's trying to help facilitate the matter. And that's fucking amazing, dude. I just love this family. That's so cool. So Detroit was fantastic. Y'all showed up. I sold out a merch completely by the third show. I had nothing. I had like two double X's left. They're skinny in Detroit. <laughs> I thought that, that that brought some big boy sizes. That's all I had left. <laughs> um, and it, it was absolutely lit. What else happened? What when did we last record? Uh, last week, I believe. Ontario Improv. You were fire. You were rowdy. Those two t- tweakers twacked out. I was trying to. Also, my message is getting a little lost because I talk about drugs so much, and people are like, "Yeah," and I'm like, "No, no, no. <laughs> You're gonna die." You're going to lose a tooth, lose the job, lose your wife. You're going to (laughs) die. It's not good. (laughs) I'll I'll do the loosey-goosey story and say I'm on four drugs and had to drive in front of the cops. And they're like, yeah. I'm like, no. (laughs) No, this is bad. This is bad. Oh, boy. Dum-dums, you know. I don't get it. I'm like, this is a message of what not to do. Don't do what I did. (laughs) Don't do it. And they're like, yeah, I will. I'm like, no, no, no. No, no, no. You're not getting what I'm putting down. You don't have to get arrested. You don't have to lose the love of your life. You don't have to lose a tooth. You don't have to do any of this. Take care of yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take care of yourself, love yourself, forgive yourself, be kind to yourself. Most of our shit is in our head being mean to ourselves. You piece of shit, Craig. You suck. See, what you talking to yourself like that for? It's not your fault. Your daddy spanked you. (laughs) (laughs) Anyhow, is this getting across? What else, man? Anything else happen? I can't see my calendar. It's no, behind a blinding much. light. Next week, I'm going to Mexico. I got Comedy Central taping coming up. Namaste. God bless. That's what's up. Um, yeah, just just in, a, just in a good place. Catching the negative thoughts like a judo master. <laughs> <laughs> you have to, bro. They They get in there. I let them run wild for my whole life. Now they got five minutes to an hour. I'm like, hey, get out of there. Put on Luis Hay. 
You're a sweet, so shut up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going dark right now, Luis. You're not saving me this time. I'm just kidding. Thank you, Luis. I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> do whatever the fuck you got to do. Listen to whoever you got to listen to. Put on Tame and Paula, John Lennon, fucking Joan Baez. Oh, <laughs> whatever. Do what you got to do. Get your mind out of the darkness. And maybe attack the church. <laughs> Not the church. The heads the heads of the church. Okay, no 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 it's jokes and jokes. I'm a satire government. Don't come after me. Um, yeah. That's it, Raw. What? God damn it. How long we've been rolling? Hour eight, hour nine. Oh. I've been smoking. Not not crazy. But I've been smoking. I was like, should I go take a hit and come back? Maybe in on love and light? Or fucking jibber jabber. <laughs> I ain't got no show tonight. That's how I use it. You know, you don't have a show, Craig. You could smoke. You could get high. And then a after I get high, someone will be like, hey, you want to do a spot? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I can't be high on stage, though. I might, I'm not at the level I was at. And, uh, I'm, I guess, an appropriate stoner. There's still a minor amount of guilt just because I promised myself I was quitting and I didn't. Mm -hmm. But I would say I smoke pretty appropriately and my tolerance isn't crazy because I'm not smoking all day every day. But that is a slippery slope. <laughs> the weed man came into town and it took every ounce of effort not to buy everything. Oh, shit. I should have bought you some. <laughs> Next time. I could text him. He might still be in town. But I was like, I ain't having you coming over with 14 flavors. You know I'm going to get one of each. You know I'm going to be like, if if he came over with 14 flavors, my brain would be like, I'll just take 10. <laughs> that's not, that's why, this is why I can't have it. I can't buy it. I just have to go steal a little nug from daddy and get a little high. It's just, fuck. You know? <laughs> I love drugs, man. Weed is a medicine, but when abused, you know it's true, stoners. It's not good for you. It's meant to be used like a tool. If you're doing it all day, every day, you should look within and why you're not happy and why you're seeking escape constantly. I know it's just a flower and your life doesn't fall apart, but you're still seeking not being with your own thoughts. At least that's my opinion on the matter. Because that's how I roll, and that's the truth behind my shit. It's like, ooh, I could get high and not be alone with my thoughts. Ooh, I could get high and be happy. It's like, why can't you just be happy with, why Why you need something? And world is sad. I'm so sad. The world's dark. <laughs> I love the Dalai Lama. <laughs> I saw him speak once. Man, that fucking Batman shit. They live long enough. The hero becomes a villain. Sad guru motherfucker. He was my favorite. He said some weird shit. We were just like... <laughs> you said that, huh? Oh. Oh. Oh, no. That fucker Tate. I went down more rabbit holes. I hate that fool now. That guy's a <laughs> fucking prick. He still dropped a lot of truth bombs and wisdom... And there's a lot of inspiration with some of the stuff he says. But then as I watch more and more and not just the little clips of yeah. the truth gems, you're like, oh, you're a pretentious fucking asshole. And you call people not making it brokies. I'm like, fuck you, bro. Brokies. Even though you clearly fuck me up. He was like a fucking <laughs> kickboxer champion. Did I say that word right? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Did not. <laughs> I did not. Kickboxer. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but you know, there, there is still some very viral videos of him dropping some truth gems that did inspire me to be better. So, you know, you got to separate the art from the man or the truth from the man. Cause you know, 40% of those viral videos, good truth, other shit, like, you like, you don't let the women talk in front of you, bro. Like, I mean... 
They do talk a lot, but come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, that's not cool, bro. This is crazy. This is crazy. And then just call them fools brokies and also just kind of being part of a pyramid scheme, taking advantage of low self-esteem fuckers to make you a millionaire. I don't like that. But also, too, those systems do work if you work insanely hard and do go for it, you know. There's a lot of motherfuckers making a lot of money off Amazon reselling. I don't have the time, energy, or effort, and it's not easy. It's just like anything. You got to build it up. They make it. They just lie to you and make you think you could become a millionaire in two seconds. It's like, no, it's pretty much starting a small business, and you got to build it up, and it's insanely hard, and you're going to have to work real fucking hard for a real long time. And, yes, you can. So it's, like, it's always like an ounce of truth in something. They just run with it and sell hope. They just sell hope. It's like, fuck hope. I want tangible goods. I don't know. Res <laughs> resources, truth. Ah, yeah. yeah, be careful who you listen to. It's, it's back to that non-attachment shit that I'm working on. You're supposed to love your lover, your wife, your husband, the gig, the career, the uh, taping, the, the Tate, the Dalai Lama, non-attachment. That way when they do ask a child to suck on their tongue you're like i'm not attached to you <laughs> when they are convicted of human trafficking i'm not attached to you uh, is nothing pure in this world anymore the ocean oh not anymore we flush fecal matter into it. it's toxic i'm gonna go swimming <laughs> all right i think that sums up our show I don't think I need to get high on tape as I'm promoting sobriety. <laughs> you know? Just weed. No narcotics, no alcohol for near 10 years. That's still something. That's still something. It's huge. That's crazy. In August, it'll be 10 years, no alcohol, no uh, narcotics. Plant medicine only. And only the last two. Eight years, hundo percent. That's fucking wild, dog. Whew. How did I do it without weed? I don't know. Yeah, just uh, I love you all. You know, thank you for listening. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for coming out to my shows. I see you, baby. I see you. This little army's growing. I wish it would grow faster. <laughs> but it's growing. We're going up. We were in the depths of hell for how long, and now we're not. That's fantastic. Remember that? Remember when we started this shit in the studio apartment, no kitchen, <laughs> dishes in the bathtub, no lights, GoPro, no mic, just me and you and a Zoom recorder, no video <laughs> the first 10 episodes. Then it was a shitty Zoom, you know? Now we got clips. Move over, Tate. <laughs> I got clips too, bitch. Um, yeah, just, just, just walk the walk, baby. You, you'd be surprised what can happen. Conan O'Brien's farewell speech to NBC is the best advice I've ever heard, and I just regurgitate it to uh, brand new comics that ask me for wisdom. I was like, fool, I'm still trying to figure it out, <laughs> but they always ask, how did you just? Just walk. Just take that first step and and be kind and work hard and you'd be surprised at what amazing things can happen. That's what Conan told me. And I've been uh been doing it for the most part. We're human, you know, nobody's perfect. And uh you may have yelled at my guy one time <laughs> or two. It's a lot going on, a lot of pressure, but no pressure. No per non attachment. <laughs> okay. Um easier said than done you know and uh, that's it just just work hard and be kind and and keep going that's it really just keep fucking going you know we didn't get ads till five years in <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 you start to lose faith <laughs> <laughs> after four years you're like oh god <laughs> just burning money here just keep going, baby. Better help. Namaste. <laughs> <laughs>
I love you all. Thank you. Much love. Stay positive. I know it's hard. I struggle every day on this pod. You heard me battle 99 times. And just keep it positive. Go to the love. Go to the light. And fuck the devil. <laughs> and I love you all. And fuck the feds. <laughs> and uh, and I just, peace, baby. I'll end it now before we go dark again. <laughs> Much love. Many blessings. I love you all. Good night.